Hello, Scrabble here, back with more Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom on the Nintendo Switch. Last time we started the volcano, but the volcano is long, so we did not actually get a chance to finish the volcano. We have just a little left, so we're gonna get going on that. There is still lots of cool stuff to come. Mm, we don't want to touch him, but we do need his help. Of course, if he pushes you into the top, you are dead. Uh, not exactly what I was going for. Right there's what I want. That's the spot. But we need to be down there. Ah! There we go. Okay. So wait for him to get down. Right about there. And then we're gonna pop over here. Hit that. Hit that. Come on. That's kind of funny. But it works just fine, because we want that. Okay, and then just bash it onto the switch and you're good to go. Ow. That's what I needed. Right there. The spot's a little tense, so I'm just being a little quiet here. We're gonna want to get it as it goes down, I think. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> that was almost dangerous. Oh! Make sure you get over it, because you need your ice boots. But once you have that platform down, you're free to go. Uh, so you see a bunch of blocks right there. Smash those. Like you do. And look at that. There's a shortcut we missed the whole time. Now we know. Don't be stupid. Here, I mean, we could go down, which is fine, but we can also go through. We gotta be missing something here, though, right? Yeah. We need a block. Okay, so we place that, switch over to the pig. Because the pig won't go through the block. Nope. There you go. This is totally a spot where I thought I got stuck before, and it turns out, if you're down here and you think you're stuck, in the bottom right, there is this little snake hole. Like, oh no, now I am stuck. Fear not! Just the other spot is hidden up there, so you can't really see it. Okay, we see the lightning. 
Another example that you need lightning is that it drops lightning. Hmm. Well, here, you definitely want to get the ice down. Uh Let's see if we can get it. There we go. And here we're gonna switch back to the pig. And back to the lion. Pop that up. I feel like there's a chest in this room, but I'm not positive where it would be. But it looks like a good room to have a chest, right? Okay. Hit this checkpoint. <sighs> Up we go. Oh, I like this room. This is a good room. Ah! That was a little rough. Whoa! I'd rather get the coin than lose it. No! This is kind of neat, the way that it stamps the block out with the gear. Uh, so here you gotta go up and snake and through. Now right here is where I got stuck the first time through the game. No! Not with that. But FYI, that's the thing that happens. I got stuck the first time through the game in this spot because, not, not because of what I just did that was dumb, but because I didn't realize that the frog could actually pick up stuff in his mouth. So I kept trying to figure out how the heck I could possibly accomplish this as the snake. And then when I figured out the frog could do it, it was like, oh, I missed some things earlier. That would have been much easier if I had known. Pardon me, I'm just, uh, having a drink of coffee at the time. We'll watch his, uh, pause animation, because I really like it. Ow. Now we need that to come down. Then we're gonna swap out. And we're gonna swap back in. And pop over. This is when the game's at its best, when you have to switch forms all the time. Really good. Alright, that's one geyser blocked. But why Scrabble? Why are we blocking the geysers? Okay, there we go. Hold on. I kinda wanna get some hearts. These guys are always good to kill. Right, you get good money bags. And we see a spot for the pig. Uh, boomerang? Yep, boomerang. Okay. 
Okay, next room. The the volcano, very long. Background. Sometimes I get confused about what's background and what's not. We can almost make that jump. Okay, here. Wanna help out this little guy. Come on, guy. Let's see if that's high enough. It is perfect. Uh, I gotta get in all the way. Let's switch. Oh boy. This is one scene that I did not particularly enjoy. Ah! Okay, frog. Oh! You'll notice that we landed here. It's actually totally intentional. Oh, yes, that's right. Um, so we sniff here, and then we need to lightning bolt. And we can't quite reach it, but that's fine. Remember the first time I landed there, I thought I found a bug. Oh! Ah! 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 There we go. We don't even need that ledge down there, but... Whoa! It's one of those things that just kind of makes it easier. No! Ah! No! There we go. Like I said, that spot's a little tricky. Ah, uh, womp womp. Oh, that spot's pretty tough. Okay. That's gonna go down, we're gonna wait for it to come back up. Ah! That was dumb of me. And this spot can be a little tricky. Whoa! Nope. Nope! Uh, that's a problem. Come on. Go, go, go! No! Crap. Got it? Got it. All of that for a gem. But again, 100% run, we gotta get everything. We just don't have to get everything right now, right? Because, like I said, there are a lot of things that are a lot faster to get later. Uh, now we gotta do this again. We gotta get it that way. Ah! Thought I had it. Thought I had it! No! Oh. Oh! 
Oh no, I had to go ahead. I had to be ahead of it. One more time. Maybe probably more than one. Like I said, this spot in particular is a bit tricky. Okay. That's guys number two. As you can see, it's a very important geyser. Let's just double check my map. Yeah, I got everything over there. Well, I got all these spaces over there. Ah, oh, pinball! Pinball is fun. Ah! That's not good. Let's take a lighter character. Hmm. I seem to recall myself doing a lot better at the pinball last time. Well, that was good, but it did not raise that. Okay, don't fall. Don't fall! Now we have one more to grab. Oops. The next one, I believe, is down on the right. Here, maybe? Ah! There we go. Don't die, don't die, don't die! Don't die! Very important mantra, we do not want to die. And another gem is ours. Very important, we want these gems. Now, we gotta get up there. No! Ah! There we go. You need to jump mid-press mid there to get up. And we get another checkpoint, which is excellent. So you see the spikes down there? That means... It, don't go that way. That way is death. They're not spikes. The uh, skull and crossbones. And here... We got a throwback to Mario World. And unfortunately, it's a bit tricky. Honestly. Uh, okay, come on. We can do this. There we go. Remember, dashing gets you extra steps. And yes, we'll gladly throw in some magic. Okay, now we got one of these. Ok, 
sí. He's up and out, so we're not going that way. We need another one, though. There he is! Hey, buddy, how's it going? Hold your shield up, dummies. And dummy there includes me. Okay, remember, we need to ram these. Money? Thank you. There we go. Whew! Mr. Toad's wild ride. Except we did it as a lion, not as a toad. There we go. And that should knock the last piece. Revealing a very large danger. Which was not too difficult to foresee. We're on the top, we're on the top. Excellent. I actually don't want this just yet. No, we're gonna head back to the store. Because why not, right? Uh, nope, not what I want. I want pig. So I want to finish buying the rest of the ice equipment. I don't think I got it all, but I think I have enough cash now. We at least have enough cash to see if we have enough. Uh, yeah, I think this is the last one, right? I don't think that's winter. There we go. So we've got, uh, like I said, the knights, the explosive damage, which you don't really care about. Come back later to this important thing, the golden elixir recipe, and the night mail. Now we can look at what pieces we can upgrade. Uh, looks like we can get them all, which is good. This should be fully unlocked. Yeah. Okay. So let's grab all of the upgrades. I'm gonna throw quick attacks, counter attacks, restore some hit points, shoot ice shards when you're using the ice sword. Get the ice boots on already. Like we should have everything on. And you'll notice that the full set bonus gives us max fire resistance. We like set bonuses. They are good. More than that, we like the night bracelet because we want the money, but we know that we're going to need fire resistance. We should get it. When we kill the next boss, before we grab the money, we're going to switch to the night bracelet just so that we get double money, but... Roop. Okay, there we go. We're gonna save here, even though I did not grab a potion, which I probably should have. The entire picture is finally uncovered. They speak of the tribe's demise at the hands of a powerful dragon. After being disturbed, it sought revenge by burning the village to a crisp. How awful. If they're all dead, who carved the story? My boy, that's a good question. No matter who created it, I have a feeling it was done to lead us towards something. Could it have been intentional that the floor beneath the wall is now weak enough to pass through? There's only one way to find out. Be careful. One can only imagine what dangers await below. Down we go. I can imagine what dangers await below. Looking at that picture. Voldrake! Who could have foreseen that we'd have to fight a dragon? Okay, and then, we want to slam his head up.
Get over there! Ah! Oh, I really wanted him to leave one pillar behind. Okay, now we hit him until he gets stunned one more time. Oh my gosh! It didn't impact us at all, that fire! That's actually because of the, uh, max ice damage. Okay. I really wanted to leave that pillar behind. All right, now we can just chill here. All right, get him that way. Uh, I'm actually going to go over here. I'd rather have the one on the left so that we can hit his head to the right. Once he locks on, dash over to this one, and we're just going to wait here. And max fire resistance, really good here. Amazing, right? Very surprising. Who would have thought fire boss max ice resistance, or max fire resistance? Okay, we wanna... Whoa! Dang, we missed. That one got us. Okay, come on. Ah! Oh! It's a little too slow. These side ones are tough. Ah! That would have been perfect. Got him. Perfect. This one doesn't matter. We can hide behind any of them. Right, the other, like, the last one's actually kind of simple here. We saved the easy one for last. I guess the s easiest one is the one that's straight up the middle. Rah! No! Come on, one back. There we go. And we got him. Whoa! Like I said, you want to switch to the coin doubler. Now nah, we can go back to the ice bracelet. Actually, I don't think we can. We don't really need the fire fire resistance now. Coin doubling, much more important. And we've unlocked the final form. Actually, not quite the final form. We've unlocked dragon form. You defeated the dragon, not bad, my lad. While you were fighting that creature, I stumbled upon a secret room and found a strange artifact inside. I've decided that I want you to keep it. I won't take no for an answer. The dragon talisman, which looks like a chili pepper, awakens a dragon's true powers by granting the ability to fly without the need to rest along with a devastating flamethrower attack. Perhaps it will make your new form even stronger. Give it a try. Focus your power to unleash the, the mythical beast inside you. There we go. Wow, that's one powerful fire breath. Uh-oh. Huh? What was that just now? Uh-oh, the volcano's awakening. It's about to explode. Let's get out of here. Or not. Or not. Oh. Professor Leverat 
is behind. Now, one of my favorite scenes that I never saw coming. It's time to play Gradius. Or any side-scrolling sh shmup game. This is why Coin Doubler is important, and... Ice Fire Resistance is not important. Ah, uh, I missed one. But the potion would be nice. I did not grab one. There we go. Those are worth five coins each, so... We get ten each? That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take that. Take that too. Whoa. Whoa! We want to watch out for that guy. We're almost dead. A save would be nice. Ha! Take that, Voldrake. Sucker. The save would still be nice. Now we're underwater. Where you would imagine our fire wouldn't work so good, but still fine. Okay, boss time. Masquerade Carp. This guy shouldn't be too hard. Whoa, I'm gonna head back here. It's gonna take us a little while. Whoa! Back here. You see that our fire is not doing all that much damage. Whoa! Uh -oh. And I only have two hearts, so I am being especially careful. Whoa! But being in the back is a pretty good safe spot against this guy. Whoa! Oh, I took a hit! That looks very uncomfortable for him. When all his scales are gone. What? Whoa! Uh-oh. We're almost dead now. No! No, no, no! Get back! Whoa-oh! Again, slow and steady wins the race here. We do have on the night bracelet, so we're fine to collect all this. Hey, give me the rest of that loot. Oh, I didn't get it. That's unfortunate.
Now we can be Dragon Brothers. We'll call ourselves the Double Dragons or something. So cool. Being able to fly will be very useful. Let's see what you got. I bet you can't fly as high as me. Wow, not bad, bro. I am a much bigger dragon. Mac Molino, hey, watch where you're going. Sorry, kid. You ain't ready for this thing just yet. You'll understand later. Trust me. Wink. Hey, that's mine. I got him. It's too fast for you, brother. Sorry, Jin, I tried, but he's way faster than he looks. It's strange, but I feel weaker without the dragon talisman. Man, what a jerk. I'm bummed too, but you should focus on your main quest for now. Why don't you ascend to the tower and talk to Sir Hoots? They say he knows a lot and owns a giant telescope. Good idea. I need to focus on finding the orbs. I think I can make it up to the tower without the talisman? Definitely. It isn't as high as it looks. Trust me. Okay, I'll give it a shot and find Sir Hoots. See ya, brother. And we gotta go up. Up, 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 up. Um, while we're here... I don't actually think we're in any danger, so we should be fine without healing. I do want to go shopping, though. Shopping is the small one. Okay, now we can afford the big thing. So we're going to grab that. We're going to grab these two knight armor things. We don't get the uh, knight armor revenge piece. That's fine. There you go. And you will see that there's another place up here. We do get tired, though. We have to time... Time it a little better. Not just slam it on. So here is the new store we can access. The Loot Master. He will allow us to trade the Rainbow Drops, of which we have 13, for undiscovered treasure chests from regions we previously visited. Very useful. Also lets us trade one Rainbow Drop for a hundred gold. Very useful. And we have new gear. Let's check that out quick. The Night Mail. And the Night Spear, which has a good attack range. I like the spear. But... The Killer Dagger with the poison... And all of the knight equipment gives us defeated enemies may leave rainbow drops. Now, we only didn't have it on. And we got a chest over here we should get. This is bombs? Sure. I think I'm going to have to refill a couple times. I don't actually know that I have the money to refill enough. Let's double check. And they sell rainbow drops for 300 bucks, which is pretty good. Um, I'll have enough. I will. There we go. Okay, back to pig. This is going to take a second. We need that stamina. It was better when we could fly forever. There we go, we need two more. Two more refills. One more and we're done. And then we're going to go up to see Sir Hoots and then we will end the episode. Having made pretty good progress today. Man, this is such a great game. Perfect. Who needs... To sleep at the inn. 
when you've got full hearts right there. And then we get wonderful elevator music from the original Wonder Boy. That was a pretty great game. I mean, I don't think it holds up today, but it was still a pretty great game. Roop. Look through the telescope. This here is a reference to Wonder Boy Dragon's Trap. Actually, this could be a Wonder a uh, reference more likely to Wonder Boy in Monster Land, where the title screen kind of had this sort of opening with the castle on the on the left. They shared a hero those two games, so it'd be easy to uh, get that mixed up. Over here, you can see we've got an uh, interesting room that we can't actually get in. Excuse me, Mr. Hoots, is something wrong? Huh? How can you confuse me with one as wise and old as my dear master, Sniff? Sorry, sir, did something happen to Sir Hoots? Is that why you're sad? Actually, that's exactly it. Mr. Cat and his soldiers captured my poor master and took him to prison. That's terrible. Why do you do that? Simply because he wouldn't share his knowledge of the sacred orbs. What? Hmm, I thought Mr. Cat wanted the orbs to help everyone, but now I'm not so sure. I'm just worried about my master. Can you help him? Well, maybe I can convince Mr. Cat to release him. Thank you! Now, I want to point out here that this is probably my favorite pun in the game, and they don't even throw it in your face. This guy's name? Julio. All the owls have a who in their name, and Julio is just my absolute favorite of them all. So next, you'll see that we're going back down to the village below. And I might as well head down and turn in the uh, music sheets while we're at it, and then end. You can't see me, but I'm bopping along to that elevator music. If every elevator played that, I'd be a happy guy. Alright, Mr. Cat should be over here. Mr. Cat, I need a word with you. Ah, uh, Penguin, say it ain't so! Hey, he's definitely up to no good. I better follow him. Before you follow him, my friend... Well, I mean, okay, we're going in the right direction to follow him. But before we do that, we're gonna turn this in. Oh, you got something new? Let me see. Great, really appreciate your help. Twelve are still missing. Please keep looking for them. I'm counting on... Counting on you... We still don't have anything. We're getting there, though. Okay, so you'll see we have to go over here. And I've been debating about whether or not I would go over here next. I think I am going to go over here next. Uh, before we're done, why don't we just head up? I like that, uh, jewel there. Oh, did I miss that one earlier and that one too? You might wonder what I'm looking for. The answer is nothing. I'm just clearing the map off. Ah, I missed one. We'll grab the lost music sheet while we're up here. And I think that should, yep, cover off the whole thing.
All right, head back down to the music sheet guy, banjo guy, Ollie. Oh, you got something new? Let me see. There you go. Great. 11 sheets still missing. Apparently charging through killed something that I couldn't see. And it got me another one. Oh, that means track Mind of Hero is complete. Nice work, Jin. Here's a reward. Great. Really appreciate all your help. 10 sheets still missing. Let's see in detail what you got so far. What we have is this wonderful banjo track from Banjo Guy Ali. And that is going to be all for today. Next time, we'll rescue Sir Hoots. And then after we rescue Sir Hoots, I think we'll start picking up some chests through the world. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you would like to see more Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom, feel free to subscribe. Plus, it helps out the channel quite a bit. You can also share the video or comment on the video. I love talking to people down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.